Hey guys, we are continuing our intro to volume and surface area. Today we're going to look at classifying and identifying key features of 3D shapes. So we're going to look at what are the key features of cylinders, cones, spheres, rectangular, and triangular prisms. Those are the shapes that you will find the surface area and volume of eventually. In order to find the surface area and volume of them, you need to be able to recognize some key features of them. So let's talk about some key words here. First one is a prism. Those are the main shapes that we're gonna be looking at. It is a 3D figure that has two base faces that are parallel and congruent. So these are the five shapes that we will be studying. Obviously rectangular prism and triangular prisms are prisms and cylinder is technically a prism too since it has those two circular bases. Okay, base of a 3D figure. You cannot find volume or surface area without knowing what the base of a figure is. So in prisms, the bases are those parallel and congruent faces. For other 3D shapes, it is the face that the figure would stand on. And then the height of a 3D figure connects the base to the top. And in our prism, it connects the bases. An important note about the height is that it is not always from top to bottom. Sometimes the height is on its side. It is the distance that connects the bases. So that's gonna be one thing that we look at today. Sometimes the height doesn't actually look like a height. Okay, so it says in each of these problems below, shade the base and label the height or the radius and diameter. So let's start talking about some of the key features here. This is a cylinder. This will be one of the shapes that we look at. It has two parallel and congruent bases that are connected by the height. So let's go ahead and shade our bases. The bases are these circles in a cylinder. And then remember it is the height that connects these circles. So here the height makes sense, it's from top to bottom. Here the height, it's from side to side. It connects the circular bases. So there's a perfect example of the height not always being um, from top to bottom. And then this is the radius and in this cylinder they show us the diameter. Okay, a cone is not a prism because we just have one base, but the base is a circular base and it tapers to a point. So I'm gonna shade the bases here, still the circular base, and then the height is this perpendicular distance from the middle of the base to the tip. So the height is right here. And then obviously this is the radius of the cones. Okay, a sphere is a round 3D figure where every point on its surface is equal distance from the center. Basically, any point from the center to the top is the radius. And obviously this distance right here is the diameter. Okay, now our rectangular prisms. A rectangular prism has six rectangular faces where opposite faces are parallel and congruent. So remember, faces that are parallel and congruent are bases. So rectangular prisms are special because any two opposite faces can be used as their base. So I typically use the top and the bottom as the base, and then it is the height connecting those, but you could also use the sides as the bases. And then again, it's the height connecting them. But typically, whenever we refer to base, we're talking about top and bottom. Okay, triangular prisms. These are two parallel congruent triangular bases joined by three rectangles. The most impart, important phrase in here is triangular bases. In a triangular prism, the triangle is always the base.
In this one, for example, it's tempting to shade that rectangle as the base, but that is not the base. Remember, the base in a prism is the two faces that are across from each other. So it is the triangles. And then our height is actually this distance right here, even though that doesn't really look like a height because the height connects the two bases. Same thing here, this is our base. And then the height connects them. And then this one actually makes the most sense to me because it's actually sitting on its base. There's the triangular bases and our height connecting them. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we are going to name these figures, we are going to shade the base and we will circle the height. The base and the height you must know in order to find the volume and surface area of them which we're getting to. Okay, this first shape here, um, prisms are named after their bases and I can see that my bases are triangles. So that means that this shape is a triangular prism. And then obviously the base is a triangle. And then remember the height connects the two bases and the distance connecting the two bases is 10. So the height is 10 inches. Okay, this next one, this is a cone. And our base on a cone is always a circle. And then the height is the distance from the base to the top, so it's 12.2 feet. And the radius will be half of the diameter. So I'll have to do 10 divided by two which is five feet. Okay, this one right here, I have two circular bases connected by a height. So this shape is a cylinder. And our base is a circle. The height is the distance that connects them. So it is six centimeters. And then the radius is 1.5 divided by two, since they gave us the diameter, which is 0 0.75. Okay, this one here, I only see rectangular faces. So this is a rectangular prism. And remember, prisms are named after their bases. So their base is going to be a rectangle. And remember we talked about that rectangular prisms are special because any of the two opposite faces can be their bases. I tend to use the bottom and the top. So if I'm gonna use those two as my bases, then that makes my height seven because that's connecting the bases. Okay, then this one here is a sphere. And the sphere has a diameter of 12, so I'm gonna have to divide that in two to find the radius, and 12 divided by two is six. Okay, and then last one, I see triangles, and anytime I see triangles, that automatically makes it a triangular prism, and it makes the bases the triangles. So this is a triangular prism. And my base is a triangle. Okay, the height on triangular prisms can be tricky. Let me show you why. This is the height of the triangle. But remember, the height of the prism connects the two bases. So that makes the height of the prism seven centimeters. Okay, that is all four key features of 3D shapes.